Test, test, test. Hi, my name is Emmy, and I'm a poet from Abraham Lincoln High School. Boys born seven years ago! My poem is titled Perfection. Time, a ticking clock that limits my ability to make things perfect. The chair that I sit on, for example, shows stride perfection. The stand on its seat reminds me of the time I spilled paint on it. The scratches that spell out my name remind me of getting in trouble for the first time. Perfection is like the bully on the block, crushing my dreams to dust. Dust isn't perfect, so I sit here trying my hardest to be the best. Maybe I try too hard. This thought has killed my dreams so many times over and over, trying to reach perfection. But what is perfection if not a goal that is never reached, a bomb that never explodes, an arrow that is never shot? What is my life if not a small plant and a vast forest, a comet and a universe of stars and planets? If my life is meaningless, then why do I have to reach for perfection? Perfection is a goal, one that I no longer want to reach for. Life in itself is not a goal. Life is the moments that make up a day, a week, a month. Years pass by like seconds when you are aiming for perfection, but years pass by like decades when you are in the moment. But how do I live with imperfection? And uh, how, what even is time? Is it the moments that make up a day? Is it physical or is time irrelevant? Does time make me who I am? Does perfection dictate my feelings? So time, is it a ticking clock that limits my ability to make things perfect? Or do things not need to be perfect? Maybe my idealist mind is the problem. Maybe I need to change. This pain has suffocated me like a noose around my soul. This pain, it is called perfection. Beautiful yet dangerous. But isn't imperfection worse? Like a child broken and beaten, its heart aching for love. Is that why my heart aches? Because I need perfection, love, and stamp of approval? Or do I settle with imperfection? Does, does, does imperfection know love? Or do I force love out with perfection? Perfection's grasp on my heart never loosens. Imperfection will always be there. But when I let things go, they are more beautiful than I ever could have forced them to be.